actually, Kasi now we're talking about the topic that it can be for kids. Because it, 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 during the last few years, we saw the rise in demand in chiropractic in the Philippines for adults. But for kids, you are introducing mm-hmm. this idea to parents out there. Of I'm seeing this in the photo. Uh, there's a baby, right? So that young, how young can, can a baby go on and get aligned? Actually, there's no age limit on how young they can start. So as young as few hours or few day old. No so the reason way, why they really? can start early. <laughs> yeah. So the reason why they can start so early to receive care is because birthing process can be traumatic for them. So especially mm-hmm. like external force. So with vacuum, forceps or C-section, it can be traumatic for babies. So I think it comes down to to how the the parents and also the chiropractor has built the trust to check their babies. And the adjustment is actually very different for babies. It's actually very gentle compared wow. to adults. I have a okay. question. How safe. many treatments does one have to undergo to be able to get cured or to have an aligned spine? That's a million dollars question that everyone wants to know. So it really depends on cases to cases. So a person who is more severe, then in the beginning, we want to see them more frequent. So for people who just want to come in for wellness checkup, general checkup, then it's less frequent as compared to a case that's more severe. So we really need to do examinations to find out, like to understand the cases, the conditions, and how long the person treats. What are the usual I hope reasons? That answers your question. What are the usual reasons Sorry? that that kids undergo this kind of treatment? C- can it cure scoliosis, for instance? Actually, um, if we can find scoliosis when they are still young, so for kids, it's actually the best time. So there's also many forms of scoliosis, so congenital scoliosis or uh-huh. scoliosis that develop over time, or is it from traumatic injuries? That's why we have to examine what's the cause of the scoliosis. So we can adjust the problem from there. Doctor Chu, and because they are still young, mm-hmm. I'm sorry to sorry. put you there, Doctor Chu. <laughs> because they are still young, their their bones are still growing, so it's the best time that we can make changes and do corrections for them, as compared to adults when their bones are already fully mature. It's becoming cor- corrective. But Doctor Chu, I have to ask. Uh, right now, during yeah. the this these cases. How many kids mm-hmm. go to your clinic right now? Do you see a rise in demand when it comes to children looking for chiropractic needs? I actually think slowly, but it's the awareness is not there. Oh. So the recent one that I see is actually um, I've been taking care of the mother. And the, so I take care of the baby while the baby's still in the womb. So the baby... Um, gave birth, she was three months old. The mom wasn't aware that she has um, like turning issues. So the baby actually preferred to fat on one side. Oh. So that's actually not normal. So that's an indication that the baby has an like, issue with the neck turning. That's why the baby only preferred to fit on one side. So for chiropractic, for us, what we do is we want to check and to create a balance back in place because it's not normal for the neck to turn only one side. And that can affect their brain development as well and hitting their milestone in the future. <laughs> because of that, Dr. Chu, I've been turning my head. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Yeah, I think uh, we're, we, we need alignment. Yeah. yeah.